Last month, the Democratic-led House approved a pair of gun reform bills that calls for expanding background checks. However, both pieces of legislation have stalled in the Senate. <laughs> Now, good morning. It's 43 degrees. We started out at 40, so at least that's a good sign. It's rising right now. It's now 43 degrees. Let's get a check on the forecast. Here's Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirsty Zontini. Good morning. That's right. We're starting off our day dry, quiet this morning. Commuting to work looks good. It is just a little chilly depending on where you are. We do have some cities in the 30s, and that's likely where we have areas of a broken cloud cover. As we head into the afternoon commute, we're going to get back into the mid 60s. And it'll be a little breezy today, but I don't expect expected to slow it down, uh, slow you down out on the roads. What I do want to point out, though, is the next couple of days this week, when I think our most challenging morning commute is going to be, and that is Wednesday morning. That will be because not only will we be windy and below freezing, but we will have snow that had fallen Tuesday night and will be shutting down Wednesday morning. So uh, there will likely be wet driving conditions, if not a little bit of maybe some slush out on the roadways to deal with. So keep that in mind. Wednesday morning may be our slowest morning drive. For for today, though, as you're getting ready to head out the door, we are sitting at 43 in Dayton. Uh, winds are out of the west, just a light breeze, but the winds will pick up a little bit more as we head through the rest of our day today. And you can see across the Miami Valley, temperatures are ranging from the upper 30s into the low 40s, depending on where you are this morning. So it is still cool enough for a light jacket. There is a few stray showers well off to our south. For us here in the Miami Valley, we get to enjoy a dry Monday. Big picture just showing a little bit of passing cloud cover. So as I mentioned, where we do have clouds sitting over the area, that's where we're going to be a tad warmer. Some of the clear skies will allow for those temperatures to drop into the 30s right now. And future cast shows as we go through the rest of the morning, uh, we will all get a little bit of sunshine as we head towards midday. Now, as we warm up, I do expect fair weather clouds to start redeveloping again. So you'll have a little bit of scattered cloud cover for the afternoon hours. And then later as we head into Monday night, you can see partly cloudy skies will be with us. Our grilling forecast for today, they'll really enjoy this warm spring afternoon. Breezy but very pleasant conditions as we stay in the 60s. Even at 7 o'clock, we're still going to be around 63 degrees. Overnight tonight, we do dip down to 40. Partly cloudy skies. It'll be quiet and cool. And then tomorrow, that's when we will be tracking that cold front. Now, a good chunk of Tuesday is dry. We'll get into the mid-50s. But once we head into late afternoon and evening, we'll see rain showers return. And then at night Tuesday, we'll see snow showers arrive. So here's future cast for tomorrow. You can see we're pretty quiet across the entire area. It's about 5 o'clock. That's when those showers will start to move in. They'll start off as rain, and as that cold air cuts in, especially once the sun goes down, we'll see a band of snow shower activity that develops. And at times, we could see that snow come down at a pretty good clip. The good news is this doesn't last too long. It'll just be a band that comes through pretty quickly, exits around the early morning hours on Wednesday, and then as we get a little bit of upper-level energy Wednesday afternoon, I do think we're going to get clouds again and then maybe a few spotty showers, but the bulk of the activity is going to fall Tuesday night. Now, a couple good things happen when you have an April snowfall. One, the ground is very warm, including the pavement, uh, so that will help to prevent a lot of road issues, but as I mentioned, as the snow falls at night, it does still have a good chance of at least giving us some slushy driving conditions, and it's going to be grass and elevated surfaces where I think we'll get a light accumulation. So if you're north and west of Dayton, likely maybe up to about two inches or so, and then the Dayton area points south and east up to an inch. If not, most of us will likely see just about a dusting. So it's not a lot, but it is going to be inconvenient and nobody wants to talk about snow in April. So we'll watch that storm tracking alert for Tuesday night. We'll have to deal with the remnants of that Wednesday morning. And keep in mind, Wednesday morning, we will be below freezing uh, in a lot of the Miami Valley with some of that snow that had fallen Tuesday night. So we do have a freeze watch for parts of the area. Anything in the garden, any crops you'd be worried about Wednesday morning, you'll need to protect them. Thursday morning as well, very chilly start. But look at Friday. We're back into the 60s. You'll forget it even snowed as we head through the end of the work week. We do bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's get a check on the roads this morning with Sergeant Mark. Good morning, Sarge. And uh, good morning again to you, Kirstie. It's been a good start to the morning drive. We've been in touch with several area police departments. Haven't seen any issues with the freeway. Here's Interstate 75. This camera's at Northwoods Boulevard. This is the Vandalia area. 
a little bit of volume there, but things are moving very well. Also had a chance to check out some area gas prices in Kettering. Uh, we found the BP on Kettering Boulevard was at 252 a gallon in Miamisburg, the Sunoco on South Alex Road, 279, and in Fairborn, the Speedway Station on North Broad Street was at 266. That's from GasBuddy.com. To find the lowest gas prices near you, click on Pump Patrol on our WHIO News app. I'm Sergeant Mark Bowen, WHIO Team Traffic. 521, 43 degrees. A historic World War II plane will touch down in Dayton this week. A look at when and where you'll be able to check it out. Thousands of cars with recalled Takata airbags remain on the road even today. The action being taken to get the airbags repaired or replaced before another deadly accident.